We're going to be talking about and exploring arrays for multiplication in this lesson 12.3. Let's do a real quick review. We have 2 times 3 equals 6. The 2 and the 3 are our factors. The 6 is the product. It's telling us that 2 times 3 is equal to 6, that 2 times we have a 3. We have two groups of 3. 2 times 3 is a multiplication fact. So if anyone asks you, what's a multiplication fact? You can say 2 times 3 equals 6 is 1. 2 times 5 equals 10. Those are multiplication facts. And little fishy's telling us that factors, that's what we multiply together, they're also called multiplicands. Just like we call two numbers we add together add-ends, the two numbers that we multiply together are factors or multiplicands, okay? And we can multiply by placing counters in rows and columns on a grid. And the rows go across, they go horizontal, and columns go up and down, that's vertical. And we can use beads, coins, cubes, rocks, or any small objects as counters. I'm going to use my gems and some geometric shapes. We can see the rows are going across, that's the number of groups, and the columns go down. That's how many are in each group or in each row, okay? So here we have one, two rows, so we have a two, and there's three in each row. So we have two times three, and that equals six. We can see there's three, four, five, six here. Two times three, okay? So remember, going this way is the groups. It's the rows, okay? So we can use counters and a grid to show each fact. If we're supposed to show 5 times 2, well, 5 is the number of rows we need. So we need 5 rows coming down, and there should be 2 in each row. So we can do this. We need 5 rows coming down. Okay, that's five, but we need two in each row, all right? There. Now we have one, two, three, four, five rows, and there's two in each row. How many do we have in all? We can skip count, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten. All right, let's try it again. Now it says four times three. We need four rows. That would be one, two, three, four. So we can use our gems here. We need one, two, three, four. But we need three in each row. So let's put three in each row. There's three in the first row. Three in the second row, three in the third row, and three in the fourth row. Now, how many gems do we have? We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve gems in all. We've got four rows, and there's three in each row. See that? Four rows, and there's three in each row. Write each multiplication fact. What does this array tell us? Well, how many rows are there? Remember, rows go across. There's one, two, three rows. And how many are in each row? One, two, three, four, five. So how many are there in all? We can skip count by fives, can't we? Five. 10, 15. There's 15 in all. How about here? How many rows are there? One row, two rows, three rows. And how many are in each row? One, two, three, four. So remember, in order for it to be a multiplication fact with an array, 
every row has to have the same amount of objects in it, okay? And how many do we have in all? We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3 times 4 equals 12 in all, okay? All right, let's do some critical thinking. Little Owl is telling us that the first number is the rows and the second number is how many in each row. It says, circle the arrays that show a multiplication fact. Does this array correctly show a multiplication fact? We have a row of four and a row of four. How many rows do we have? We have two times how many are in each row? Four. Is that a multiplication fact? Yeah, it is. How about this one? Is, does this show a multiplication fact? How many rows do we have? We have one, two rows. And how many are in each row? Well, this one's got five and that one's got three. That's not an equal group. Five and three aren't equal, so that's not a multiplication fact. They don't have the same amount in each row. How about this one? Does this show a multiplication fact? How many rows do we have? We have one, two, three rows times how many are in each row? One, two. Are they equal groups? Does it show a multiplication fact? Yes, it does. Let's circle that one. How about this one? How many rows are there? One, two, three rows times how many are in each row? One, two, three. Are they equal groups? Yeah, they are. So does this show a multiplication fact? Yes, it does. It shows equal groups. We have three times three. That equals nine. How about here? Does this show a multiplication fact? How many rows do we have? We have one, two, three rows. And how many are in each row? We have four, then we have four, but then we only have three. Those aren't equal groups. So no, that doesn't show a multiplication fact because it doesn't have equal groups. How about this one? How many rows do we have? We have one, two, and how many are in each row? We have one, two, three. Does that show a multiplication fact? Yes, two times three equals six. So that one works. It has equal groups, doesn't it? How about this one? Does this show a multiplication fact? We have one, two rows, and how many are in each row? One, two, three, four, five. We have equal groups, so yes, this shows a multiplication fact, okay? It's got to have the same amount in each group, otherwise it's not, okay? So the yellow ones and the brown ones are not multiplication facts. We're going to continue on talking about multiplication, and we can do multiplication in a number sentence going across like this, or we could do it stacked vertically. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. If this was helpful, hit the like button. And don't forget, you can support my efforts to help everyone with math by looking in the description and going to the different sites to become a subscriber. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.